Campi Flegre in Italy is not like your average volcano. It's not a mountain, but rather an eight-mile-wide, bowl-shaped caldera centered on Pozzuoli Bay, just outside Naples. The volcano's unsubmerged mouth is home to more than 360,000 people, and in total, 2.3 million people live in or around it. Despite being under constant scrutiny, this enormous volcanic bowl piqued the curiosity of volcanologists this summer when it began shaking and shaking more than usual. Since 2005, Campi Flegre's land surface has risen by 0.4 to 8 inches per year. This inflation rate is lower than what was observed during the last three periods of unrest, but this has been the case for almost two decades. Volcanologists began to wonder what would happen if the Earth's crust stretched beyond its breaking point. There has also been an increase in the frequency and intensity of earthquakes in the region since the summer. The number has decreased in recent weeks, but large earthquakes still rock the region, including a magnitude 4.0 quake on October 2. What can explain this disturbing activity? This month a group of scientists published a paper trying to decode the behavior of volcanoes over the past 70 years. If this interpretation of the research is correct, it could also explain what is happening today. Here's what they think is happening. At a depth of 5 to 6 miles, there is a reservoir of magma that is constantly emitting dangerous gases. Some of the gas is trapped in layers of rock about two miles below the surface, and some escapes from small volcanic vents in places like the foul-smelling Solfatara crater. The researchers hypothesize that, in the 1950s, a collection of magma intruded near the rock barrier, cracking it slightly and lifting the Earth's crust. Once the magma cools and additional gas escapes to the surface, uplift stops and the ground subsides, though it never returns to levels measured before uplift. The team believes the same process occurred again in the 1970s and 1980s. By the time of the riots in the 1980s, repeated cracking of the Earth's crust had created new pathways for trapped gas to escape, leading to significant subsidence of the land surface over the subsequent period. Many of the fractures have healed. Those last three injections of magma have cooled and solidified, creating a magma seal, which is also a barrier to the escape of gas, said study co-author Nicola Alessandro Pino, a senior researcher at the INGV Vesuvius Observatory in Naples. But gas continues to escape from the deep magma reservoir, and most of it has accumulated again in the rocky barrier about two miles below causing the ground to expand. Magmatic gas rising from below and being trapped is enough to explain the uplift that has occurred since 2005, and the recent and sometimes powerful earthquakes may have come from the aggressive coalescence of newly formed cracks. <laughs>